Hello everyone, dear community, I warmly welcome you to this new robotic lawnmower test video. Today we're focusing on the highly compact lawnmower from the brand Hooky, specifically the Neomo S model. In this video, we'll take a close look at what this sleek little mower really has to offer, who would benefit from investing in it, and how it performs in practice. So without further ado, let's not waste any time and jump right into it after the intro. But before we begin, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any future test videos. The most up-to-date prices for supporting this channel can be found below in the video description. Thank you very much for your support, and let's get started! Solid 1,000 square meters, obstacle detection with ultrasonic sensors are just a few of the features promised by the Hookie Neomo S. We'll thoroughly examine whether it lives up to these promises and how it performs in real-world conditions in today's video. But first, let's talk about what's included in the package. Inside the product box of the lawnmower, you'll find a user manual in multiple languages, a roll of boundary wire with a length of 150 meters, a power supply and cable for the charging station, two large boxes with ground pegs, spare blades, and last but not least, the actual lawnmower itself. The Neomo is securely packaged, and we receive all the necessary accessories for initial installation. Next, we'll take a look at what's required to get the mower up and running. Let's start with laying the boundary wire. As we're already accustomed to with other robotic mowers, the entire area needs to be fully delimited. According to the user manual, a distance of 20 to 30 centimeters should be maintained from the edge. A suitable cardboard template is already included in the product box. Furthermore, objects like trees, bushes, and the pool also need to be outlined with the boundary wire. I've already demonstrated the optimal approach for laying the boundary wire quickly and easily in a separate video, which I'll link for you in the top right corner of the info card. Next, we'll install the charging station. It should be placed at the edge of the lawn area and oriented in a way that allows the mower to exit and navigate the area in a clockwise direction. Additionally, it's important to leave a sufficiently large distance of at least one meter in front of the charging station so the mower can drive straight into it. Last but not least, all that's left to do is connect the boundary wire and the power supply to the charging station. The connections for these can be found on the back and are clearly labeled in the user manual. That covers the installation of the lawnmower. Now, let's focus on activating the device. For this, we'll need the proprietary Hookie app, which can be downloaded for free from the App Store and Play Store. After creating a free user account, which can be done in no time, we can add a new robotic lawnmower. For this, the app requires access to Bluetooth, GPS, and the camera on our mobile device. This is because there are two ways to add a new mower, either by entering a code or scanning a QR code. Unfortunately, in my test, the connection using the QR code didn't work right away, so I had to manually enter the code to connect the mower. However, once the code was entered, the connection was established within a short time, and I landed on the app's home screen, where I could control the mower. Therefore, we'll now take a detailed look at the Neomo S and its features. In terms of appearance, the Neomo S is undoubtedly an extremely small and compact robotic mower. With a weight of just 9.2 kilograms, including the built-in battery, it's easy to transport and its small size allows for convenient storage in winter. The chassis is made of sturdy plastic, giving a positive impression of the mower's stability and durability. I couldn't find any plastic residues or other negative quality impairing features on the device itself. Located on the side are the medium sized drive wheels with a diameter of 180 millimeters, which is average and provides sufficient traction on the lawn surface due to the coarse profile. The mower is designed for inclines of up to 33%. On the underside, there's nothing special, just two steering wheels of the mower for adequate maneuverability. These wheels are easy to move and are also rubberized. 
In the practical test, I didn't encounter any major problems as the mower does not get stuck easily due to the good tire profile. However, due to the relatively low chassis, it is possible that the front steering wheels may sink deep and the mower's body may touch the ground when encountering significant unevenness. Therefore, it's essential to ensure that the lawn surface doesn't have too many significant irregularities. On the underside, we can also find the blade disc with a total of three blades and a diameter of 180 millimeters. This is comparable to other robotic mowers tested in this square meter class. The advantage of the Neomo S is that it's also IPX5 certified, which means it can be easily cleaned from below with a water hose, saving time and effort. Other than that, there's nothing more to see on the underside, so let's move on to the top side. At the front of the mower, located at the snout, are the two charging contacts. As mentioned before, the mower enters the charging station forward and exits backward, which reliably works in practice as long as the boundary wire is laid in a straight line in front of the charging station. Directly above the contacts are the optional ultrasonic sensors, which serve as obstacle detection. It should be noted that the Neomo S comes in three variants. The cheapest variant does not have ultrasonic sensors and only supports Wi-Fi. The middle tier configuration, shown in this video, also lacks ultrasonic sensors but includes both Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity. And finally, there's the most well-equipped mower with ultrasonic sensors and cellular connectivity. In my case, I have the middle model without ultrasonic sensors, so I can't make any statements regarding the functionality and accuracy of this feature. Positioned in the middle of the mower, we now find a large plastic cover, under which the cutting depth adjustment is located. Regarding the cover, I must say that it's relatively discreet and blends well with the appearance of the mower, but in my opinion, it's too difficult to open. This means that it's very hard to access the handle recess with normal sized fingers and it requires some force to open it. In my opinion, this could definitely be improved. Beneath the cover, there's a large rubberized adjustment wheel for setting the cutting depth. The mower is designed to cut from 20 to a maximum of 50 millimeters, which should be sufficient for the majority of applications. Additionally, under a seal, you can find the orange SIM card, which can be easily replaced if needed. Also on the top side, you can find the most important control elements. In this regard, the Neomo S has a relatively discreet design. In the center, we find the three main buttons for stopping, unlocking, and starting the mower, which are quite large and easy to operate. Below that, there's another control panel with four membrane buttons and a few status LEDs. The mower also has a built-in rain sensor here, so it automatically returns to the charging station in bad weather. Thanks to the control panel, the mower can be started either directly from the device or from the app. However, based on my experience, I still recommend connecting the device to the app at least once as the most important settings can only be made from there. In my opinion, the app itself is quite user-friendly and there are not thousands of submenus and there are additional explanations for almost all settings. The app is also available in different languages, but the translations are not always 100% immediately understandable. Nevertheless, it is important to easily make the most important settings as they're explained in more detail after clicking on the question mark. This includes, for example, creating a schedule that the mower follows automatically. However, the most striking feature of this mower is undoubtedly the systematic mowing pattern. While the Hoki Neomo S still relies on a boundary wire to define the mowing area, it also uses GPS for optimized mowing behavior. In the app, it's possible to make various settings in this regard. For example, we can let the mower mow in the familiar random pattern, but in my opinion, this does not bring any real advantage. In that case, I might as well choose a standard mower with a systematic mowing pattern, which would be a bit cheaper. For this reason, it's important to activate the parallel path and mowing direction with the compass symbol in the settings. Only then will the Neomo S mow systematically. From the practical test, I can say that it definitely works, but maybe not exactly as one might expect. Although the Neomo S has a systematic mowing pattern, its GPS accuracy without correction data, as we know from other devices, is only rough. As seen in the video, the approach of parallel paths is present, but the Neomo tends to sway back and forth. 
This means that it's not uncommon for the mower to go over the same path twice by reducing the distance between the paths in the settings to a minimum of 10 centimeters, there are only a few spots left that the mower unfortunately misses. However, this is not a significant problem since in most cases, it takes care of those spots on the next run. Furthermore, the mower doesn't follow a complete path from one side to the other, but divides the area into several zones, similar to the Bosch Indigo. It's also worth noting that the mower remembers where it last mowed and resumes from that point after an interruption. So, whether it started raining or the mower needed to recharge, it will complete the mowing of the entire area before starting a new cycle. One peculiar thing, though, is that in the app, the mower is represented as an icon, but the underlying map has no meaningful representation as it's just black. I would have expected a graphical display showing the progress. According to the manufacturer, this issue is supposed to be addressed in a future update. Nonetheless, the progress is numerically displayed in the upper left corner, allowing you to monitor it. The mower is designed for an area of up to 1,000 square meters. With its large 4400 milliampere hour battery, it managed to mow a maximum area of 250 square meters in one go during the test, due to the fact that it goes over some paths multiple times as mentioned before. There's no direct cut to edge function, but due to the boundary wire, it's possible to position it in a way that allows the mower to go up to the edge and thus mow it for a good overall finish. Overall, I believe the Hookie Neo Mo S can be considered a good value for money robotic mower. It still requires a boundary wire to be laid beforehand, but compared to many other mowers, it has a better and more efficient mowing system. This not only saves time and frustration, but also proves to be cost effective in the long run. So far, so good. Now, I'm curious to know what you think of this robotic mower. Please feel free to share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd also appreciate a thumbs up to support this channel. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel to never miss another test video. You can find the most up-to-date prices in the video description below. Thank you for your support. Take care and until next time.